And welcome back, everyone, for week 13, the Thanksgiving edition. Yes, we're going to do three games. Billy B and myself, we're going to break down the three games, give you our predictions. We might go against each other on a couple. Who knows? We'll start you off with Billy B. All right, what's up, everybody? Uh, before I get into the picks for this Thanksgiving special here, I just wanted to uh, say what I'm thankful for for Thanksgiving. I'm thankful that I get to work for a channel in Geo's Nose channel that doesn't have to buy views or buy subscribers or buy comments. Uh, he does it the right way. Um, he doesn't do it for the for the views and all that. We do it because we love to do it. Um, so when Geo's channel goes into the Prague Hall of Fame, there won't be an asterisk, asterisk next to it. So with that, Geo, thankful for you, doing it the right way. So let's get to the picks. First pick, I like the Chicago Bears, minus three and a half against the Lions. Now, if Matt Stafford was playing, it'd be a different story, but I just don't see how um, the Lions are going to be able to score enough points to keep it up with this. Um, I know the Bears have been struggling on offense, but I think they'll be able to score enough here, and their defense will take care of the rest. So I like the um, Bears. I think they're going to win this game 23 to 10. So I like the Bears minus three and a half. And I also like the under 39. Next pick, I like the Buffalo Bills plus six and a half against Dallas. Uh, this is going to be a good good game. Uh, very close throughout. Um, both teams' uh, defenses are pretty good. And um, Dallas' offense is a little better. So I think that they'll pull out a pull out a close win in the end. I have Dallas winning this game 24 to 20. So I also like the under 45 in this one. Um, but uh, take the Bills plus six and a half. Next pick, I like the Saints minus seven against the Falcons. And um, this is a revenge game for the Saints. Uh, they got embarrassed by the Falcons earlier a couple weeks ago. I think they're going to come out and they're going to... Um, show that their team uh, they also want to try to get that bye week for the playoffs so um, they can't afford to lose to the Falcons again so I have the Falcon uh, the Saints beating the Falcons 36 to 23 um, so take the Saints minus seven and I also like the over in this game the first game has the Chicago Bears going to Detroit where the Lions are three and a half point dogs at home the total in this game is 38 wow you know it's a division game where the home team is a dog usually it's a, it's a good bet to take Especially with uh, the backup quarterback uh, who've been killing it this year, especially when I bet against him. But this is the backup to the backup. David Blau, I think is his name. Um, undrafted rookie out of Purdue. Anyways, um, Chicago's defense is very good. You know, last year they used to uh, score a lot of points defensively. I think that's what's going to happen here. Chicago will probably get a defensive touchdown. That should be more than enough. Whoever's quarterback for Chicago, whether it's Trubisky or uh, uh, Chase Daniel, I think, uh, I don't think they'll put up very many points. I think this is going to be a low-scoring game, but I think this one, is, uh, this is a game that Chicago is going to cover. I predict the score in this game to be Chicago 17, Detroit 3. So lay the points for Chicago and minus 3.5 and, and take under 38. The second game has Buffalo going to Dallas where the Cowboys are six and a half point favorites at home. The total in this game is 47. Uh, Buffalo's got a very good record. They haven't really played good teams. You know, Dallas kind of got ripped off last week. You sort of get the, uh, the, uh, the idea that maybe the refs will be a little kinder. I'm not saying that will be the case, but Buffalo uh, takes a step up in class against, you know, Dallas still has a very good defense and a very good running game. I think ultimately, inevitably, uh, Dallas will be able to uh, uh, take up huge chunks on the ground and, and pound this one out. I don't think they'll cover the spread, though. I think this is going to be closer than you think. I'm going to predict the score, Dallas 20, Buffalo 17. So take, take Dallas straight up, take Buffalo against the spread, and take under the 47. And the third game has New Orleans Saints going to Atlanta where the Falcons are seven-point favorites. The total in this game is 48 and a half. Wow, Atlanta, a real Jekyll and Hyde team. They, uh, you saw what they did a couple of weeks ago to New Orleans. They kept them out of the end zone, and then they, they kept the following week, the, uh, uh, Carolina was, uh, was it? Uh, anyways, they kept them out of the end zone, and then, of course, they collapsed last week against Tampa. So it's hard to gauge um, where Atlanta is right now, but this is a division game, and uh, these two teams know each other. It's probably one of those games where you expect a lot of points to be scored, but there probably won't be. I think it'll be more of a defensive struggle than um, than you think. I do 
believe that New Orleans will win the game, but it will probably be closer. I'm going to predict the score in this game to be New Orleans 23, Atlanta 20. So take New Orleans straight up, take Atlanta plus seven, and take under the 48 and a half. So for the Let's Take the Man's Money Parlay play and the six-game teaser, we have Chicago minus three and a half, Buffalo plus six and a half, Atlanta plus seven. Take under 38 in the Chicago-Detroit game, under 47 in the Buffalo-Dallas game, and under 48 and a half in the Atlanta-New Orleans game, all unders. A $25 bet will get us $1,188.64. And for the six-game teaser play, We'll tease Chicago to plus two and a half, Buffalo plus 12 and a half, Atlanta plus 13. We'll tease the Chicago Detroit under to 44 and take the under. We'll tease the total in the Buffalo Dallas game to 53 and take the under. And we'll tease the total in the New Orleans Atlantic game to 54 and a half and take the under. A $25 bet will get us $175. Good luck. So there you have it for the picks. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. For Geo, I'm Billy B. Let's take the man's money.